Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living weekly live broadcast. Today is Sunday, January 23rd of 2022. The Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives to create a sustainable environment and a peaceful world. Our topic today is about balancing self-care with caring for others. Our lives are set up so that we are pulled on constantly to care for others. And we're here for that. You know, I use the word pulled on because sometimes it can feel like, oh gosh, not more, not again. It just gets overwhelming and you feel pulled in one direction from your family, one direction from your work, one direction from community, one direction from media and from our societal expectations and everything else. And in the midst of all of that, how do you care for you? How do you take the much needed and deserved time to really discover the truth of who you are, who you are, what you are at the core of your being? How do you find and make the time for yourself to take that deep dive, the journey to the center of yourself to discover that spark inside and to be present with that light inside of yourself and allow it to be illuminated and to to unpack and unfold so that you can truly, truly be the beauty, the natural beauty that you have come here to be in this world, that light that you have come to shine in this world. You know, and I say that you have come to shine in this world in one sense you have and in another sense. This is the light of your source shining through you that wants to shine. It wants to shine through you. It wants to dance with you. It wants to laugh with you, to sing with you, to play with you. It wants to to feel everything that you feel through you and experience through you. It wants to soar with you and lift you and shine you and be you and be through you. It be you, you be it. (laughs) So how do you find and make the time for yourself so that you're not getting depleted by life and all of the things that life pulls on? All the things that life asks of you right? And you have needs too. And that is by design. You're meant to have needs. Every human being is here to be in relationship with others. And in being with really in relationship with others, it means helping and loving and caring for each other and supporting each other. But it also means giving yourself permission to have needs, right? We, we tend to, everybody wants to be a superhero, And we want to be the support and be the love and care for each other. And that's beautiful. We definitely need that. But when we feel needy, we have a need, we feel depleted. Sometimes it's really hard to ask for that. No matter how much you've given to someone else, it's hard to ask to receive that for yourself in return when you need it. And you were designed to have both sides of that, to be the giver and the receiver. To be the servant, the caretaker, and the one in need. We're designed to experience all sides of that and to not make one right and one wrong, one better, one worse, but to experience all sides of that in the fullness of light and love. As the poet Rumi says, out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there where we don't make separation between right and wrong. The rest of that that poem from Rumi says, when the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about ideas and language. Even the phrase each other doesn't make any sense. So imagine a world where we can 
be present with our neediness and our superhero ability to give and love and not make any separation between them, not like one better, one worse, one right, one wrong, but it is what it is because it is what God made. And we're here, not as our ego selves, but as a being of light, the light of source that is soaring through this universe, through this plane of existence, experiencing all of the facets of this jewel of a life from light to light through light. And it's all beauty. It's all beauty. So let's come into our meditation and healing circle today. Let's come into our circle sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to de- knee to knee, coming together as one. And let's bring all of our senses, everything to face into the center of the circle, bringing your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears, your throat, your heart, your belly, your hips, your whole body and all of your senses to face toward the center of the circle. And as we meet right in the hub of the circle, let's together call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your vibration of your pure divine light. Just imagine this pure divine light streaming into the center of our circle, filling all of our circle with this vibration, this illumination of this pure divine light. And as this light streams in, allow it to meet your senses. Allow it to meet your eyes to meet your ears, to meet your nose, to meet your mouth, to meet your throat and your heart and all of you and allow this light to shine into the pores of your skin on every bit of your body and allow this light to cleanse and purify any of the, just any of the the blocks and barriers, any of the clouds anything that is obstructing your ability to be with the pure light and to be the pure light, to allow the pure light to move through you and shine through you and experience this light, this life through you. So any of the old patterning, the cobwebs, the dust, the clouds, Just let them be cleansed and purified by this light. If you feel those places inside yourself, I know everyone experiences differently. I personally, I tend to be someone who feels everything in my body. I feel like I feel everything in my body. I feel tension. I can feel like my breath moving in some places of my body And another place in my body that feels like it's got walls around it or it's on lockdown and it won't move. So if you notice places like that in yourself, let your breath, you know, just play with your breath. Let your breath move through your body in different ways, in different parts of your body. And notice where you feel some parts of your body flowing freely and opening and others maybe more constricted. And Invite that light, if you will, invite that light to shine through all of those parts of yourself equally. And on those parts that feel like they've got walls around them or they're more constricted, allow that light to shine on those places and invite those places inside yourself to allow the light to shine on them. A lot of times, you know, we carry so much shame and we carry guilt and we carry all of our old wounds 
that we don't want anyone to see. And we certainly don't want to see them ourselves. We don't want to walk around shining them, right? Those places inside of ourselves also need love and they need light. You don't have to unearth them and relive them and even know what they are. You don't have to know what's behind the constriction, but you can allow it to receive the light as the light streams into your body. So again, call on that pure light and allow that light to travel in through your pores into every cell of your body and on those places that feel a little more constricted. Just invite them to receive the light also. Allow the light to shine in those places. And I invite you to allow the light to shine on them as they are. So often we think, okay, I got to clear this out. I got to heal this part of myself and then the love can come in. But the love can come in right here, right now, right into those places, right where they are. The divine light and the unconditional love. Let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of unconditional love. And just imagine, feel this pure divine light and this unconditional love streaming into the center of our circle, filling all of our circle with pure divine light and unconditional love. And just let this love surround you and hold you and invite yourself, allow yourself to feel loved, to be loved. Our topic today is about caring for yourself and balancing that with caring for others. And the bottom line is you cannot give from an empty cup. You cannot give from your ego self and not be depleted. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so allow this light and this love as it comes in. Allow it to fill you. Allow it to fill not just the places of you that are free and perfected and full of light and love, but all parts of you equally. Allow yourself to be filled with this vibration of pure divine light and unconditional love. And use your breath and breathe that energy in. Breathe it all the way in. Breathe it through your heart center and all the way into the core of your body. And by the core of your body, I mean the vertical core. That funnel of energy that, or that, that energy that flows through the top of your head and runs vertically through your body along the front of your spine and through your base. And let this light and this love flow through that vertical core. And as you inhale, draw all of this light and love energy into this core of your body. Let it flow through your heart. Let your heart be like a breathing portal. I'm talking about your heart center, the funnel of energy that's extends from the front of your chest, about the center of your chest. Let that be like a breathing portal and inhale in this divine light and unconditional love through your heart center and let it flow all the way in into your vertical core. And let it fill all of your core with pure divine light and unconditional love. And allow your, your cup to be filled. Allow your cup to be filled. And again, let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your eternal compassion. This is the compassion that is the ocean of compassion. Just imagine the entire 
our entire virtual circle filling with eternal compassion, the compassion that extends beyond our time and space realm. And imagine us also all being held in this ocean of eternal compassion. And let yourself just relax into this ocean of compassion to be held, to be loved, to be fully, completely accepted in this ocean of compassion. The ocean of compassion is all loving, all forgiving, all accepting, pure love, pure love and acceptance. Allow yourself to rest into that and to feel held in that ocean as you're filling with pure divine light, with unconditional love, and with this eternal compassion. Let every cell of your body receive, invite every cell to open and receive this vibration, and allow every cell in your body to resonate with this vibration of pure divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion. You rest into this ocean. Breathe, inhale it in, receive, and let it land. And as you let it land, let yourself drop down into your hips. Feel your presence in your hips, leaning back into your body, grounded into your body, being the light, the love, the compassion that you wish to see in the world. And I'm going to read now. We're still in the the book, The Ocean of Love. I'm sorry, <laughs> wrong book. We're still in the book, The Answer is Love, Questions to Explore as we transition into an era of peace. And I'm going to read from the question for today. And the question is, how can I know myself, who I am, outside of the role of caretaker and of giver, when we are pulled on in so many ways to give and to care for others and to respond to the needs of everyone else? How can we know ourselves and find ourselves, and be true to ourselves, and care for ourselves as the beings that we are. The response. You give and give. You are a servant of love. But fill your cup to give from me. Allow me to be the love that flows through you and gives through you. You do not have to be alone or give from yourself. My love wants to flow through you, and it will strengthen you along the way. My love will strengthen you. My love will highlight your truth and guide you to stand in it with honor and respect of who you are. To give in love from this place teaches you, and it teaches your children by your example, how they too can be giving, loving, and strong, and honor and respect their own truths. They learn from how you be even when you do not have the words to explain or teach their minds. They learn from how you be, even when you do not have the words to explain or teach their minds. They follow and become. You are teaching them how to be with you and treat you. They learn and embody from your state of being And they, in turn, teach others how to be with them, how to treat them, to respect their boundaries and honor their goodness. They will draw goodness to themselves from others. And so will you. 
you are also teaching your partner and other family members and co-workers too. You create generous spaciousness for others to stand in their autonomy and strength and expect to be honored there. You meet each other to share love, not to come in a neediness that depletes love and leaves you hollow, but fill your cup. Call on me in every breath. Love me. Love me. Love God. Love the universe. Love source. Whatever name you want to use for it. Love, love, love itself is what that is saying. Love, love. Learn and train yourself to drink from my clean, pure water. And fill yourself with my love and allow others to bathe in the overflow. Care for yourself first. Listen for the spark of inspiration in your heart. You will hear this when you sit with me, even five minutes at first. What is one thing you can do to acknowledge the spark in your heart? Take action intentional, inspired action, even one small step to acknowledge your spark. Let this unfold over time. Be patient and witness. What is it unveiling for you? What is it teaching you about yourself? What unfolds next? Take it one step at a time and keep returning to your heart for the next step. Your environment will shift as your energy changes. It will create greater openings for you to explore more. Keep returning and witnessing, saying yes to what unfolds and following the stepping stones. What is it revealing for you? What is it teaching you? What is unfolding? What are you learning about yourself? What are you learning about me? What are you learning about love? What are you learning about love? You are love. You are me. I am you. We are love. Love is loving. I am with you. I've got you here in your service of others and in the exploration of yourself. Love is love. So take a minute and breathe that in. Receive that into your heart. Allow your heart to be present with those that message and receive what it wants to receive from that message. Allow your energy body to receive. And as we sit with this, let's continue to breathe in that pure divine light, that unconditional love, the eternal compassion, And let yourself just be present with whatever is moving in your heart, whatever is moving in your body. If there are any places inside of you that are the yeah buts, saying yeah but, I could never get away from this exhausting life that I have. It's too demanding. I could never really have the time for me. Or maybe you do all these things for yourself and there's a part of you that still is not receiving it. Let's call on our source now and make an intention for any of these places that obstruct the flow of receiving any of these places that keep you from 
being able to receive and fill your cup, no matter what where they come from, just make an intention and ask for help from your source, from the angels, the healers, the helpers, the guides, the prophets, the saints, the perfected ones, all who are here to help us on this journey of healing and wholeness. Just ask them to help you to release and make an intention to offer all of these things, offer them into the center of our circle. And we ask our source, we ask the one, we ask the angels, the prophets, the saints, the perfected ones, the healers, the helpers, the guides, the teachers, all who are here to help and support. We ask them to take all of that from us, to take all of that from us and release from us. And in those places that are being cleansed, that are being, having these energies released, just allow them to fill with this light and this love and this compassion. Allow the light to move through you. There is a roomy quote that says, find it. Oh, I thought I just had it up. I'm sorry. Let me pull it up. There is a roomy quote that says, These forms we seem to be are cups floating in an ocean of living consciousness. They fill and sink without leaving an arc of bubbles or any goodbye spray. What we are is that ocean, too near to see, though we swim in it and drink it in. Don't be a cup with a dry rim, or someone who rides all night and never knows the horse beneath his thighs, the surging that carries him along. Allow your cup to fill. Don't be a cup with a dry rim. Allow your cup to fill and sink. To be the ocean. To swim in it and drink it in. Allow your cup to fill with love. And invite that love and that light as it flows through you and moves through you. Allow it to highlight or invite it to highlight, illuminate that spark inside of you that is divine inspiration that wants to move through you, that wants to live through you and experience this life through you. As this love flows through you and the light flows through you, Let it illuminate and awaken and enliven that inner spark. This is really your source wanting to live and express and experience life and love through you. Allow it to awaken. Allow it to to wake up and take space and have movement. Allow it to inspire you. Allow the breath of spirit to Blow on that flame at the center of your chest. Awaken your inspiration and inspire you. In the first line of that poem, he says, These forms we seem to be, the forms we seem to be, are cups floating in an ocean of living consciousness. Your body is a cup floating in an ocean of living consciousness. It's what you seem to be, but truly you are the living consciousness. And the living consciousness is living through your body. So as you drink this in, breathe this in, swim in this ocean and drink it in, allow it to fill your cup. Just see if you can shift your identity from the cup to the living consciousness. 
to the, the life force that flows through the cup. See if you can just shift your consciousness and be the breath. Be your own circulation. Be the breath that moves you. Because truly you are. You are a an expression of your source appearing in this 3D material realm to experience this life. You know, it, it reminds me of the, the octopus. The octopus is one of the most intelligent creatures on the planet. It actually has a distributed brain. So rather than having one central brain like we have, it has a distributed brain. The brain is distributed throughout the body and can react instantly to a number of different like changes. If you've ever seen the octopus, it can change its color, shape, and texture to blend into its surroundings. It can look like a rock one minute and a, uh, a plant another minute and an octopus in another minute. <laughs> it's just, it can change its color, its shape, its texture to completely blend in. And when people have had octopus in tanks and they the octopus have escaped from their tanks they can get through very small spaces spaces the size of a quarter if you have a hole the size of a quarter they can move through that that's because they don't have a central brain like we have their brain is distributed so think of you know when i say a number of times that we are all cells of one body Think of the cells, if you were the, one of the cells of the octopus, a distributed brain system. And this distributed brain, like all of the little parts are constantly in response to their surroundings. It's, it's working as a whole body, but each bit doing its part. Each bit, I mean, it, it's, it's almost hard coming from these brained beings that we are and thinking and perceiving the world in the way that we do with our large brains. It's almost hard to fathom what it would be like to have a distributed brain or to be a part of a distributed brain. You know, when we think, created in God's image. What does that mean to be created in God's image? I don't believe it means that God looks like a human being, but that we are light beings inhabiting a form. And the light being can inhabit every form. It does inhabit every form. Not just the human form. So imagine and feel as this breath moves through you, a distributed part of your source expressing itself through your body, through the cells of your body. How does it want to express? Allow yourself to be filled with the light and the love and the compassion and the beauty 
and all of the divine attributes, the gratitude, the forgiveness, the majesty, the sovereignty, all of the divine goodness, the kindness, the gentleness, the subtle subtleness, Let your being be filled. Let your being be filled. And as your being is filled, again, invite every cell within you to receive. And again, if you feel those places inside yourself that feel constricted, like they can't receive, that's okay. Allow them to be present in this experience. Allow them to just be, to just be. Allow the light and the love to flow around them, through them. And if they are able, they can receive right where they are. You don't have to get rid of them before you can receive love. They can receive love too. All of those parts of yourself. As Neil Douglas Klotz says, call the cacophony of yourselves to join you around wisdom's table. Let all the parts of yourself come together with you in your body, in your heart. And receive the pure love. Receive the love. Let it flow through you. Drink it in. Receive it into every cell. Allow your cup to be filled. Allow your entire being to be hydrated and satiated with pure unconditional love no conditions unconditional love allow yourself to receive and receive and receive and receive and receive be like the camel that has just crossed the desert and is empty and wants to receive needs to drink the water and drink from the pure water of unconditional love Let it fill you and fill you and fill you. And as it fills you, it strengthens you. It illuminates the truth of who you are. It activates the divine spark within you. You become strong. You become intentional and purposeful. This informs you. It teaches you. And in the next moment, you can act from this place. Act from the fullness. You can give from the overflow, which comes often just from being in the presence of other people. When you are overflowing with love, People can be in your presence and receive from you without even having to ask. Often they can just drink from your overflow and feel fed, feel healed, feel cared for, feel loved because you are overflowing. And it feels good to overflow in this way. It's uplifting. It's building. It's strengthening. It's loving. You feel loved and the overflow gives and others feel loved as well. And they won't ask you for so much (laughs) because they're already receiving what they truly need just by being. Allow this love to fill you and overflow. Overflow from you. Be the light, be the love, be the compassion, be the strength, be the beauty, be the joy, be 
the change you wish to see in the world. As Gandhi says, be the change you wish to see in the world. Be it, receive it, drink it in, become hydrated, saturated, dripping and overflowing with pure divine light and unconditional love. Allow this to teach you about the truth of who and what you are. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's not complicated. Love is love is love. Humans make it complicated, but it's not. And we hear all the time, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. As this flows through you, be like the child with minimal expectation if you can. And be with the unfolding of what unfolds from within you as the love flows through you and fills you. Be with that and receive from that and learn from that. Let it be an unfolding. And learn from every step. And learn about love. Learn about love. So again, imagine yourself completely surrounded by pure divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion. Breathe it in through all of the pores of your body, all the way into your core, and as you exhale, drop down into your hips and let it land. And again, let your heart center be like a breathing portal. Breathe it in through your heart center. And let it pour all the way into the core of your body. And as you exhale, drop down into your body and let it land. And let's invite the light and the love and the compassion to flow through the top of your head, through your crown center. And let it flow through the top of your head and allow it to flow through, allow it to flow through all the way through, filling this vertical core with divine light, unconditional love, an eternal compassion flowing through the top of your head, flowing through your head space, and flowing down your vertical core, flowing through your throat space, through your neck, and throat, and flowing through this vertical core, through your head, through your neck, and through your chest space. Behind your breastbone, through that space, filling all of your heart space with pure divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion, and whatever else your being is needing. And trust in your source to know and send you whatever it is that you need. And flowing down through your heart center and through your diaphragm and your <sighs> through your solar plexus, filling all of this space with pure divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion moving all the way down through your abdomen, through your belly space, 
pure divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion flowing all the way through your vertical core, through your solar plexus, through your belly space, all the way in through your lower abdomen and through your base, and moving through your hips and down your legs, all the way through your ankles and to your feet and into the earth. And as it's flowing, continuing to flow, divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion flowing through the top of your head, all the way through your vertical core, through all of your centers. And let's give your shoulders a stretch and your arms a stretch and let it flow out your shoulders and through your arms as well all the way out through your arms, through your wrist, through your hands, through your fingers and fingertips. This pure divine light and unconditional love flowing through all of your body, through the top of your head and all the way down through your base, through your hips, through your legs and through your feet, and all the way also out your shoulders, through your arms, wrists, hands, palms, fingertips, the being of light that you are. And again, let your core of your being be filled, hydrated, saturated, satiated, filled and filled and filled. And allow yourself to be like the cup that fills so much that it sinks and becomes the ocean. Become the ocean. Become the ocean. Fill your cup to give from the light of your source. Drink from the clean pure water and fill yourself with love. You are love. You are me. I am you. We are love. Your source is with you. Your source has got you here in your service of others and in the exploration of yourself. Breathe, receive, and let it land. And you can make some sound if you like. Just let your voice have voice, let your breath have breath, let your body have movement. And I'm going to open for the q and I'll be ending the recording and open for discussion. If you're listening to the recording, you're welcome to join us live on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. You can find information for joining the call at communityforconsciousliving.com, communityforconsciousliving.com. When you sign up to receive reminders and replays of this meditation and healing circle, you'll receive a free gift that is called the 10 Spiritual Principles of Our Human Existence. It's a one-sheet reminder of who we are, what we are, what this world is about, why we're here. It helps us to remember to keep things in perspective. And it comes with a 15-minute downloadable guided meditation similar to what we do at the beginning of this call. You're welcome to download that and make that a part of your daily practice so that you can be the light, be the love, be the compassion that you wish to see in the world. All right. And with that, I end the recording and open for the Q&A. Thank you very much.